Hi oh, there, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Uh, this is probably my last video for the year. Um, I had a folder of um, products, like I screen grabbed online that I thought would be interesting to look at. So I started this a few days ago in my spare time. It's a Ricoh Theta S 360 camera. Um, the form sort of jumped out at me and said, Okay, it's fairly simple, but it looks like there's a few things in here that might be challenging. And uh, as I found out, I'm up to version 9, um, there were actually a few things that were challenging to resolve in SolidWorks. So if I just jump over and have a look at a few photos of this quickly. Okay, so it's got like a scalloped racetrack form in the middle. Um, like this full uh, curve on the end here that runs out unevenly so the surface here gets wider and then narrower and narrower here so that was a bit of a that was an area of challenge and the other area that I found a bit challenging was um, this end of the racetrack because it's it's higher than the other end so the scalloping actually increases because you can see that the body is deeper yeah so simple little product Okay, I'm just going to roll through this really quickly. It's rough and ready. I'll put the um, I'll put the file online. I haven't named anything. Well, I've named one thing, I think, uh, and a few things at the top. Uh, if anybody wants to pick through it and let me know if you find a better way to do anything, um, I'm sure there is better ways. Uh, and at the bottom, I've just kind of done some um, offsetting and splitting and and trimming just to make it into um, separate bodies. Uh, just for the just for the sake of this video, if you're going to make this in um, production, you'd obviously handle this in a different manner. Maybe make this as a master model um, for the surfaces, no fillets, and then insert those using insert part. Okay. Actually, why don't we just check the surface finish? Because I know a lot of people can't be bothered sitting around watching the whole lot. Um, it's a fairly Fairly smooth. I did a lot of tweaking in this area. Uh, it's a bit of a tricky one because I said that surface, that distance grows. Um, which means it looks okay from some angles and then your zebra stripes are saying something else. But then when you shade it actually looks okay. It's probably the kind of thing you'd want to get models uh, cut. Machine, 3D printed, etc. Um, and the other area of challenge was this one here. So I had to break this into uh, a few sections. Right, let's zip, zip through it. So I start with there's just some elevations, which are images. Turn those off. And then I've created a front elevation with the main dimensions. Uh, and notice that this racetrack at this moment, that's just an arc that's tangent to a line, okay? I've changed, I changed that into a curvature continuous connection through here a little bit further on. Uh, and then side elevation again with some um, main dimensions that I've captured. And I have my plan control which is the section. I don't have this product in hand so I've just used the iometer again to um, kind of judge things. Okay, then I've extruded up the main surface. And then I've created a sketch called the racetrack control. This is one of the more important areas because what I've done is I've taken the arc, which is that line there, which stops at 90 degrees and then turns into a line. What I've done is I have um, set back this line by 10 degrees off the horizontal and then I've set back this piece of arc by 20 degrees and then I've created a style spline, usual story, uh, Bezier curve, degree 5, um, uh, these points here are collinear to this line because that's, that's a line, so it's a linear connection and over here to the arc I've used um, curvature continuous connection. Okay, and so you can sort of fiddle with those angles. Um, it's just something I was happy with, I know it has to deviate from the arc and I thought that was acceptable amount. Acceptable amount. And this arc up here, I wanted to carry that on as a true arc rather than putting a spline in because it's we've got these circular elements that you want the edge to relate to. Then I have trimmed it 
that racetrack shape out and created a plane to trim the surface at the end of the line not of the arc racetrack but of my new spline racetrack um, created a split line through there and deleted that face and then created the top which is just an extruded I think it's just an arc yep and that's that specified my front elevation control yeah it's an arc six with a six millimeter drop okay uh and then i have recreated this um piece of racetrack from the racetrack control except on a plane because this line here is planar it's parallel to the front plane so i just created another plane that's parallel to the front plane through that point and then created uh, converted entity so we've got that reference um, on that surface then I've created this fillet here which is curvature continuous R10 symmetric now I did a lot of playing around so version 9 um, different ways of building this corner this one seemed to be the best because of this variable uh, width going on so I created a, a control sketch which has got a series of arcs an arc there and an arc there and then this is a spline again it's a degree 5 Fezier curve curvature continuous at each end connected to these arcs now I've got a few dimensions um, for these lines here these lines here are going to be planes that I'm going to put sections through and then I'm going to use this curve here going to extrude this uh, and trim it back and use that as a section as well it'll become obvious soon okay so then I've extruded that centerpiece like I said and I've created a plane that runs from end to end and just extended the surface to intersect with this surface because I want to create an intersection curve there 3d sketch because I need to drive, I need to trim the top off this, but I, to trim it off I need to drive a spline from uh, curvature continuous to this intersection. So on that plane just created, I then created this spline, which is degree 4, so this point and this point are the tangency control on this end, so that's horizontal, uh, and on this end it's curvature continuous, so I need 1, 2, 3 points and that's uh, got a relationship to the intersection curve we just created and again these links I've just sort of played around with them to find something that's nice then I've trimmed that that ribbon back and I've created two construction planes as I said through these lines here so we've got the two planes and sketched cross sections on those There's a cross section there, and those cross, cross sections are coincident to this point here of the trimmed ribbon. So that drives a lot of that sketch there. And all the, the other dimension is just a, a length on this um, control polygon segment. And then another section over here, same setup. Set this time with an angle because this, this, this section here is controlled with an angle. Um, and then I just found instead of creating one, two, three surfaces, uh, or, you know, one, two, and then this one last, I just found it easiest, best result was to do this all in one go. Um, so as you can see, it's uh, one, two, three curves and four curves in this direction. Second direction is one, two, three. Um, using that trimmed ribbon so everything's coincident intersects with each other uh, and then I've got a normal to profile here and tangent down this end uh, and I don't have any tangent influence because we've got this uh, curve through here tidying it all up so looking at that I did a lot of tweaking and mucking around so yeah this extra depth though that's the tricky thing I think 
the fact that the surface grows there but the depth stays the same so it depends what you want to do there okay get onto this um so then knitted that together and surface extrude this is just an arc with a 0.4 millimeter drop that's extruded um, along the linear edge of our racetrack and on this end i've created a, a style spline that's curvature continuous to this edge here and then tangent ah uh, it's not tangent there sorry what am i talking about positional just a positional connection there and then i'm going to trim that back and we create a cross section through here uh, intersection curve boundary surface through there so i'm just going to skip through this quickly because i know it's um christmas time i might not even edit this video so it must you know there'll be lots of ums in it and then knitted that together um there's an um but at this end because this this deviates upwards a lot more this sort of thing here i, I kept getting a, a a a dimple in this area so instead i tried something different which was to make a surface so i've got a center line curve then i've created a plane and another section which is an arc and then created a boundary surface and then trimmed that back like so and knitted everything together create another plane which is going to be used for an intermediate section um, boundary surface knit it all together like that and then i created an offset because i'm going to use this uh, to split some bodies um, as you can see there's one two three pieces to the main front and back housing and then a mid housing so this offset's going to chop this out uh, and then extended that out through the outside um, then just made the lenses and the bezel detail um, some other offsets here just to create some gaps uh, surface plane and the bottom corner here which is a curvature continuous radius and then using this offset surface here i created a split feature to split the main body into two and then just did some trim operations like that and added some small fillets 0.2s and 0.1s and then just some mirror and knit operations and then thickens and then finally a move face to give us a gap in here right so there you go that's the Rico theta s camera uh, main form as an exercise i guess if you're doing again another thing you'd probably be doing if you were doing this for a production part so you you might have some draft on these places um yeah but again for the point of this exercise i wasn't going to do that yeah so if you want to download this and pick it apart again it's, it's rough and ready so no doubt there's lots of things to be uh, improved on and yeah i hope you found this video useful last one from me have a good new year's and good christmas see you next year thanks andrew jackson aj design studio bye